Today I'm going to be showing you how I propagate my philodendron pink princess. This is my first time chopping it up and I'm going to be doing most of the plant today. I think I got about seven or eight wet sticks and cuttings from this plant. And there's a new leaf coming out, but that should be fine. There's always a new leaf coming out, so I didn't want to wait. So for the pink princess, if you're looking for some care tips, you're going to want to water this once a week and possibly twice a week in the summertime, depending on where you are and how hot it is. It likes bright and direct light. So close to the sun, but not too close. If you get it too close, it will burn. I'll show you some burn marks here soon. So this is what happens if it gets too close to the sun. This happened before I got the plant and I was thankfully able to not get it on the next few leaves while I was in my care. If you're wanting more variegation, then just put it a little closer to the light without being, you know, too close. That's how you're going to get more variegation. This is the note of the plant, which I think can be sometimes the hardest thing for people to look for. It kind of has a bump there, and then the those brown things that are coming out are going to form roots. So those are the aerial roots. This is what you need for every single cutting. If you get a cutting and it doesn't have this, then you're probably scammed, but this is what you need to look for. Here again, I'm showing you another example of the where the roots will come out of and where the leaf will come out of. And I'm going to cut it about an inch below where those are. These are with sterilized scissors. And that'll be the top cut. Now, pink princesses do tend to bleed, so try not to wear anything that's too fancy or white. What I did here was just wipe the ends off on a paper towel so that they could dry off and they could harden off a little bit quicker. And I'm going to make this one into a wet stick. So a wet stick does not have any leaves on it and it doesn't go into water. It's going to go into perlite in this case. So I've got an inch on top and I'm going to do an inch below the node. And I'm going to make another cutting here. And one last one. So I did end up making this last cut into a wet stick because I figured there was not enough room on either side just in case you want to have a little bit of extra room in case it starts to rot. So I did end up making this one into a wet stick. And these are all the cuttings that I got from that one plant. So this is that one wet stick. I'm going to go ahead and remove the leaf off of it, just very gently. This one didn't have too much variegation, so I didn't feel too bad about removing that leaf. If it would have had a lot of variegation, I probably wouldn't have removed it, and I would have just risked putting it in as a cutting into water. So just gently removing that leaf. Here we have the node. I'm showing you that is going to go into the perlite. Here are all the cuttings and the wet sticks that we got out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wet sticks into perlite and this is just in any container that you can find that you're not using. You're gonna to want to make sure that the perlite is nice and damp. It's not soaking wet but it's not dry either. Put the Aerial roots, those little brown spots, I'm going to put them facing down so that the roots can form downwards and the node is going to be facing up so that I can see when a new leaf pops up. I just put this in very loosely, I don't want it too compact. You'll see I put a little bit of perlite just on the sides and the top. I'm just trying to protect it and help the roots form faster. something for the roots to kind of grab onto. If 
Just making sure that it's not too tight in there and that it's nice and airy. If you don't have a lid, you can also use like saran wrap. This will help with the humidity. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on because I found it was too dry. And a little bit more. So I'll just close that lid up and I'll check it in about a week. You're gonna wanna open it once a week and just make sure that nothing is molding or rotting and give it a little bit of air. The second way that we're gonna do this is by a mason jar full of water. You can use anything. I've seen people use like yogurt cups. They've used any type of container. So with this, you're just gonna, the, the number one thing that you're not gonna wanna do is to put the leaf in the water. That will automatically make it rot. So here we got the aerial roots and the node in the water. And I'm gonna try to stuff them all in here. So in water, it will take about two weeks, I'd say, and then you're gonna start seeing roots. And then a couple weeks after that, you can pot it up in the soil. And there we have it. There is all the propagations that I made from the Pink Princess. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. I come out with new planty videos every week, a minimum of two a week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.